may invalidate your warranty if you do that. The magnets must never ever come together. But if you inadvertently do join them, do watch your fingers, it's a powerful force. Don't try to prise them apart. Twisting action is the best action to release that powerful magnet force and then open them up. Remember, your window wizard is not designed to be used dry. By all means, try them dry when you get home to check you've got the right wizard for your glass. But now you need to soap it. And how do you do that? Ordinary washing up liquid, dip the sponges in, but remember those magnets must never come together. So turn the wizard around and agitate the sponges and that will get the foam to work for you. Don't ever bring them together that way. Always turn them and agitate the sponge. That way it will work perfectly for you. They're not designed to be used on plastic windows or plastic coated windows. And another tip, when you finish with your window wizard, always make sure that you thoroughly clean the sponge, you thoroughly clean the blade, so that any grit or grime it may attract doesn't get onto the surface the next time that you use your wizard and it won't scratch the surface. So clean them out thoroughly and then pop it back into the machine and it's ready to go again next time. If you live in a high-rise flat, it's virtually impossible to clean the outside of your windows. That's where this cord comes into play. Tie that on the inside or around your wrist. If you inadvertently release the inside magnet, just make sure that the outside magnet doesn't fall to the floor. Now you're ready to go to work again.